working on are really annoyance type te techniques, at least for the most part. These are wrist releases. This is when somebody's grabbing your wrist, one wrist, two wrists, whatever. And so what we're going to do is we're going to learn to defend against these, and we're going to use some, some uh, very, very basic techniques to do that. Again, realize that even though these are simple and in most cases annoyance techniques, they could be the, the, the beginning of a much more serious attack. For example, someone grabbing you to pull you into a car or to pull you into a hotel room or whatever it might be. So again, it's good, it's good to know how to get out of these quickly. So the first one we're going to do is what we call a same side wrist release. Chris is grabbing with his right to the same side which is my left. The very first thing that I'm going to do as he grabs me is make a fist. The reason I'm making a fist is, is that Chris could very easily grab my fingers and put me in a very painful and a, bad, a much worse situation than I'm in. So by making the fist, I prevent that. Now, what I want to do is, Chris is a bigger guy than me, and, and typically bigger people attack smaller people. But in any, in any case, what I want to do is, I want to try to get as much of my power, my, my body, use my body to break this release, not rely on the power of my arms. So what I'm going to be doing is, I'm going to be stepping back as I do this release, using my opposite leg. And just always remember it's the opposite leg, whatever hand they have. The, th the other key point in this is what I'm going to do is as I make the fist, I'm going to start to turn my wrist as I make this release because what I want to do is I want to take the edge of my wrist and I want to have it point to the opening on the tip of his thumb. That's the weakest part of his grip and that's where I want to pull. Even if it's here, I want to start to turn it as I make my release and so I can open here. Okay, so what we're going to do from here, we'll start again. Chris grabs, same side, I make a fist. Now I'm going to step back with the opposite leg and I'm going to twist that wrist as I showed you and step way back into a deep stance and jerk my hand back all the way to my shoulder. Now, I'm doing this in one motion. So what happens is I twist, I step back, and I break. And notice my eye contact remains directly on him. I've escaped the, the, the hold, but I haven't defeated my attacker. I don't know what his next move is going to be. And again, this is situational. If this happens where someone grabs you at a party and they're a little drunk, maybe all you need to do from here is back off, leave me alone. That might be the extent of what you need to do. Get back into your assertive behavior. But the situation might dictate that what we do is as we make the release, the hand is already here, we're going to attack with what we call a back fist strike and using the back of the knuckles and then step back into our assertive position if that's what we need. We may need to go further with it. The attack comes here, I make the release, I throw the back fist, I strike with a palm heel strike and I drive in with some knee kicks. Bang, maybe into the face. Maybe finish up with an elbow technique. Again, depending on the situation. The situation dictates the rule. So that's what we call our first, first defense against that same side wrist release.